Okay, the next tool we're going to play with is the Sphere tool. You've seen me playing with this quite a lot. Again, it's a very simple command to use. We simply click in the center of the sphere and drag out to the diameter or radius that we need. Once we've gotten that, we let go. It's that simple. If we then look at the list here, we can see the actual radius. So I can type a number here if I really want. We can see the number of segments, and they're talking about the segments around the circle here. I can make that coarser by changing the number and we see the object updated to be more coarse. I can make it finer by putting in a bigger number. And as you can see the object looks a lot finer now. Now, taking a look at these commands here, smooth. That has to do with the way in which the object is rendered, the way in which it is coloured in. Now, as you can see, each one of these little squares is what's called a face. Each face has an edge and four vertices, which are shared by an, another face, which shares a common edge and common vertices. Now, if we tick the Smooth button, the computer knows to smooth over the angled edges to blend it in to make it look like it's actually a smooth sphere. So that's what the Smooth does. Next one down is Hemisphere. If I just drag up the spinner here, we can see that the object becomes a hemisphere. We can slice the object. And as you see, we're actually building a slice out of this sphere. And so on. We can tell it to slice to a certain angle. So I've got it fair bit of control over your object. We can manipulate the way in which it's pivot or its controlling point. And again we can give it a mapping coordinate, which like I said for basic modeling that's not a bad idea.